Our untamed minds often behave like a reckless chariot driver, veering randomly according to each sensory experience and stimulating thought. Buddhist teachings offer time-tested methods for steadying this chaotic inner process. How can techniques like chanting, meditation and mindfulness help us gain composure over the monkey mind's restless acrobatics? Discovering inner calm and clarity allows directing energy towards our highest purposes. The Origins of Mental Disturbance To understand how Buddhist practice tames the mind's wildness, we must first recognize the root causes of mental disturbance. In Buddhism, the primary culprits are the three poisons of greed, anger, and foolishness. Greed attaches us to selfish aims, anger breeds aversion and aggression, while foolishness causes entanglement in misguided views. Together, they overwhelm the mind's natural wisdom, compassion, and objectivity. By using wisdom to counter these distorting impulses, the mind regains its inherent lucid tranquility. Calming through mindfulness. A first technique for mental mastery is mindfulness, defined as moment-to-moment non-judgmental awareness. When besieged by stressful thoughts and emotions, mindfulness helps ground us in the present. Notice physical sensations, sights, sounds, and your breathing. Allow thoughts to arise and pass without following or repressing them. Like waves in the ocean, witness them with detached equanimity. This dismantles their power over your inner space. Stay attentive to your breath, walking, eating, or daily tasks without attachment to the endless mental narrative. By repeatedly returning awareness to the here and now, the mind settles into calm focus. Chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo. Furthermore, in Nichiren Buddhism, chanting the mantra Nam Myoho Renge Kyo channels mental energy into an uplifting rhythmic focus which replaces aimless thinking. The steady cadence of repeated chanting invokes a meditative state of energized tranquility. Nam directs reverence, Myoho embraces the wondrous nature of existence, Renge indicates simultaneous cause and effect while Kyo references the Lotus Sutra. Together they align our minds with the eternal truth of reality. In Nichiren's words, without tranquilizing the mind it is impossible to engage in true practice. Therefore chanting calms mental turbulence. Recognizing ego's delusions. Moreover, gaining insight into ego's false assumptions tames mental habits driven by greed, anger and jealousy. Meditating on the constructed, impermanent nature of the self dissolves ego's demands. We recognize how our insatiable desires cause suffering. Cherishing others' well-being counters resentment. Accepting imperfection fosters equanimity. Buddhist philosophy offers conceptual frames exposing ego's distortions. By studying these teachings, we stop living unconsciously. Wisdom through dialogue. In addition, Honest self-reflection and dialogue with others unmask our own hidden prejudices and misperceptions. Speaking candidly yet compassionately, without aiming to dominate conversations, draws out our mind's shadows. Exposure to different viewpoints challenges rigid assumptions. We recognize the inadequacy of our solitary thoughts. Shared wisdom arises in open communications. This clarifies mental confusion skillful acts to break habits. Furthermore, destructive mental patterns get reinforced through harmful acts of body and speech. Even if the mind wanders, we can refuse to indulge its unwise impulses. In this way, wisdom gradually transforms ingrained habits. By acting consciously, we retrain behavior away from egotism. Generosity counters greed, Forgiveness addresses anger and truthfulness aligns our words with reality. Every mindful act bends the mind's trajectory towards enlightenment. Patiently starting anew each moment. Finally, establishing mental mastery requires neither repression nor perfectionism. When we stumble in delusion, patiently begin again without harsh self-judgment. Our minds naturally calm by practicing regularly regardless of intermittent agitation. Like learning any art, we steadily refine through repetition, not instant results. By applying wisdom and compassion towards our mind's development, our best self manifests from within. 
through techniques of meditation, reflection, chanting wisdom teachings, gaining self-knowledge and acting consciously, we can gradually steady the mind's chaotic waves. By mastering the mind thus, we direct our lives towards truth, ethical action and fulfillment of our ultimate potential.